Well, we're back over at the Walco WM180 lathe. Um, and this is uh, something I've been meaning to do uh, mod to it for, for ages and I just haven't really got around to it. Basically, this is a cheap, cheerful, simple and quick way of uh, fit, fitting a single axis DRO to the WM180 lathe. You need, uh, all you need to do this is you need a, um, a cheap, well, it's entirely up to you, you can get a cheap or expensive one, but you need a, um, a, a digital caliper. Now I've used um, one of these, this is the uh, Danny U 150mm uh, caliper from Banggood. Um, I like these because you get, not only you get metric and imperial, but you also get fractions. So you can it actually um, give you a readout in fractions, which is great. These the f this one which is the first one i bought this was about nine pounds 98 i think they're, they're now they've gone up a little bit i think they're about 12 pounds on bank at the moment i'll put a link in the description that's still only 16 dollars. i mean that's pretty cheap really for a digital caliper they're stainless steel they're they're really nice bits of kit actually so you need that you need some uh, aluminium angle you need uh, a little bit of half inch aluminium angle and you need this bit here was originally uh two inch aluminium angle you need to drill two holes uh and you need some uh double-sided sticky tape and a small g-clamp and literally that's all there is to it uh we can close in on that so you can see it a bit better basically i cut down the two inch bit of angle so that it would fit on to the top mounting bolt for the lead screw end bearing which is what this block is here on the end uh, end of the lathe it's got two cap head allen screws six mil which mount this uh, lead screw bearing block and I've just picked up on the top one you do need a slightly longer bolt than the original bolt that goes in there but it's six mil bolts are a doddle to get hold of um, the body of the uh, digital caliper is fitted to the plate using a, just a bit of servo tape double-sided sticky tape um, and um, this is a 150 mil six was just under six inch uh, caliper so you get plenty of travel out of it right and then at this end um, I use the uh, half inch aluminium angle cut a piece suitable length I simply drilled a hole six mil in the end of the bracket and I slotted it and then I picked up on the um, thread index the bolt that holds the thread indexer uh, onto the carriage um, and that fits quite nicely there and then i've just used a small g-clamp to attach it to um, the moving part of the caliper now um why have i used a g-clamp well because i did try and drill a hole in this and i wouldn't advise it this stuff is really i mean i know there's stainless steel and there's stainless steel but this stuff is really very very hard that the caliper is made from uh, also the g-clamp allows me to disconnect the thing if i want to really quickly and these little g-clamps you can pick these up on ebay they're cheap as chips basically um and, th and that's all there is to it so, so you drill a hole in the bracket in the in the in the bracket that you make there you drill a hole in this one and that really, I think the whole thing took me about an hour to set up. Um, so really, really easy. Um, and like I said, the beauty of it is, you know, with the with these calipers, you can set the zero wherever you want. You can change it from metric to imperial or back or even fractions on this case. So it's just, you know, a very, very useful um, addition to the lathe. Um, what I would say is if you're interested in the Warco lathes, um, then in that case, you almost certainly would have been to um, uh, Aid's workshop YouTube channel. Um, Aid's got WM180 and he does professional high tolerance work on his lathe. And he bought his one with DRO fitted. And I, I would say to anyone who's going to buy one of these, if you can afford it, then splash out the extra cash at the beginning and get one with the DRO because the DRO is definitely well worth having but if you haven't got dro like i haven't this is a pretty good cheap alternative and as i said um it's really easy to do it really you know doesn't require a lot of work or anything like i said but took me about an hour um now there's loads of videos out there already about uh how to fit uh single axis dro's to all sorts of different lathes um and i've watched quite a few of them to pick up on ideas but i couldn't see one that was specific to the war code particularly the wm180 uh so if you've got one this is a real easy way of doing it and as i said you can pick these up for a lot less than what i paid for this i mean but i still thought that that was um you know that was a a, um, a, 
uh, a good, this is a good uh, digital caliper for this job because you've got the added bonus of having fractions. Uh, I mean, if you wanted to, you could grind the tips off, you know, um, but uh, I haven't modified the actual caliper at all. So if, if I wanted to, I could simply remove it and use it as a caliper. But um, anyway, there you go. Very simple, very easy, very quick way of adding a single axis DRO to the Warco WM180 lathe. So hope anyone out there that's got one found this useful. Um, thanks very much for watching. Cheers.